where the hell are my glasses gone? Do you know, every time I want to find my glasses, I lose them. Oh well, I must have a spare pair somewhere. God protect me, best. Right. Oh dear, wrong ones. Oh well, not to worry. I only wear them because, you know, it, it pro projects my handsome features to you all. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed Easter and made yourself truly sick from Easter eggs which kind of gives me a nice warm glow inside. Right. Everyone here is fine. We have survived. But uh, all of you, and a lot of you, are light workers. And for this reason, I, I want you to be very aware that light workers all over the world me included, have been, se been severely attacked. Some of them more serious than others. This occurs when we, we ask to travel to heal another person. we can be attacked very easily. We're very vulnerable. So if when going out, make sure in some cases that your dragons are with you or your the guardians are with you and your guides are with you. Get maximum protection because it can happen to any one of you at any time when healing someone. We have all felt this. I mean the energies are changing all the time. And the latest news is that man now wants to go and visit Mars. Bless their cotton socks in their ancient machines. Do you realize man has not advanced really? He still uses things called lead throwers, we call them rifles. They change in shape and they spit lead faster, but they're still ancient compared to the crossbow and the longbow, which doesn't need bullets. Methods of killing. It completely disorientates me, it annoys me, and infuriates me. But what can we do? We have to many ways to learn to protect ourselves like um, using various means. We have that right. We may be light workers and we may be abide by our rule, the rules and the celestial laws, but there is no rule on this earth stating that we cannot protect ourselves. You don't wander into the jaws of death, as it were. Um, I wave a cross and sing a few hymns at them. No, my friends, this isn't the way at all. A long time ago we were, we were told this. If the enemy slaps you in the face, you deck them. And that didn't come from me, by the way. Uh, it was words similar to that, but it came from the Masters. Your body is a temple. Your body is the temple of spirit. You are spirit. I'm driving this point home again. You are spirit. You are not what you're looking at. This is just a vehicle. So... 
your solemn duty is to protect the temple that you are in with whatever means you you know not to be like a little sheep and lie down and let them walk all over you I noticed in England the violence in currents has accelerated to a phenomenal rate. People are not safe in their own houses at all anymore. When I was a young man, if the law had a grievance or wanted to speak to you, they presented themselves. They wanted to search your property. They present a piece of paper called a search warrant and they search your property. Nowadays, they come in, they kick in your door they, and they just charge in, screaming police. Fortunately, that doesn't happen here. But it does happen quite a lot in England by what I've seen on various programmes. They did it to one, one house, they, they reckon they were on a, a drugs raid. They smashed in the door, they charged like elephants right through the house and this little old lady sat in a chair wondering what the hell was going on. They were in the wrong house. Now we might think, think that's funny, but I don't think that poor old lady who was in that house on her own watching these load of thugs in uniforms charge in and destroy her home. No, my friends. The, the law now has become... They've become like uniform thugs. They can take away your property at will. Okay. You take a car out with no tax and see what happens. They'll take the car off you. The same with housing. If they want your house and you bought that house, they take out a compulsory purchase order and they still take a bloody house. So you own nothing. All your work. It's not the house. It's not the four walls. A home is what has been put into that home. The work, the love, everything that's been put in that home suddenly has to be tore apart because they've taken out a compulsory order and say you're not going to stay in this house no more. This is the law as we have it today. They talk about the young men of today being more vicious and being more unruly. No my friends. But God forbid, they're rebels. They're fighting the very system that you and I just sit down and accept as norm. The young men of today are so confused over how they're treated by the law. And how an accusation can be given to someone and that's going to be norm. Now, everybody's wondering, you know, what's going to happen with North Korea? Oh, give me a break. It's preposterous. They're They're showing, they're trying to, uh, I don't know, throw shapes. They're trying to make themselves look big. He's, the young man that is now controlling Korea, North Korea is trying to assert himself for his people. All this shouting and pos posturing it's rubbish. How ludicrous can you get to think that North Korea 
could cause any severe damage to America and what would happen to them if they did. This is ridiculous. It's not Korea that's doing it, it's America. Oh, yeah, I was coming to that. She woke up, sorry folks, and interrupted... I've been awake all along, you idiots. <laughs> See? A poor old man gets treated with abuse again. I was listening to every word you said. Oh my God. Carry Ca on. Well, as I said about uniform thugs and people pushing other people around, I know I suffer. <laughs> oh, you all know. <laughs> yes, America causes a lot of this. They bait them and bait them and bait them to force them into a no win situation. Yeah, they want another 9 11. Yeah, that's what they want another 9 11. If anyone pointed to any country and said which is the most evilest country and the most arrogant country in the world, then I look towards America. I have never seen such cruelty, brutality to their own people, never mind outsiders. They are the biggest troublemakers in this world today. Do you remember Iraq? We are not invading Iraq. We are liberating Iraq. Hello, what are they fucking liberating it from? Come on, wake up. They wanted one thing and one thing only. One, they wanted the oil. Two, there's also an artifact in Iraq which they really wanted. Yeah, they wanted that more than the oil. Oh yeah, they did. Oil was just an escape goat. So hundreds of children and women and innocents get killed because of their nasty little greedy fingers. The maid I was just saying was this and that. They have, there is no such thing as justice with Americans. They're cruel, they're barbaric and they're greedy. But the dollar is falling. And the more it falls, the more greedy they become and the more arrogant they become. They're doing their last shot now. Yeah, it Going is. Going at Korea. Speak up, I don't think the person at the back there heard you. They're making their last moves and they don't care how they do it. Oh, I agree. It is the last and they know it. Yeah, I agree, I agree. You're not going to get killed when she sees the video. Oh shit, she'll see it, won't she? Yeah. <laughs> and 14 minutes have passed. That's okay. Well... Each one of you be aware of what is happening. Be very aware. Feel the energies around you. Absorb them into yourself. Feel the power around you. For this is celestial energy. Those that are Members of the Order of the Dragon, draw clo close to them. Draw close. Adrian, stop that. That was my phone, sorry. Draw close to Draconia. Feel their protection. What is real and what is unreal? That's the first thing you've got to sort out in your minds. This is not real. This is hallucinatory. This is... Uh, it's like being in a big hollow... Uh, uh, what they call them? Those big things that uh, change things. Hollow sweets. Yeah. That's what it's like. Yeah, I'm aware. 
It's like being in a big hollow suite. Nothing more. Be aware of reality. Reality is what is happening spiritually, not what's happening here. We call it spiritually, but that is natural fact reality. Confusing, I know, but this is how it is. Well, enjoy the snow. Get out there into the snow, make a few snow angels. <laughs> while I sit and bathe in the sunshine in Ireland. Our thoughts are with each and every one of you. And we look forward to, I look forward to your feedback. I know this isn't a very spiritual video this time, but uh, I promise you something a little bit more spiritual next time. If you want me to talk about something, then mention it and we'll discuss it and I'll do research into it and I'll go to my main source which is Dragon Lady sorry sorry the dark the um <laughs> the dark raven one and she can advise on this our thoughts be with each and every one of you Namaste. Om Shanti.